All right, guys, completely off topic. I am um, going to remove these screws. And as you'll recall, last time I Loctited them in, this time I thought I would stick a soldering iron on the screws for a little bit. And um, if you look, I've um, got the temp gun. I don't have my soldering iron on full wattage, about 270. And I'll tell you, it's a little reflective. So I suspect it's probably hotter than that, but I'm not going to touch it. I've also taken the precaution of uh, putting on some gloves. If you're going to work with hot stuff, please be exceptionally careful, guys. So um, here I got the soldering iron, and I'm just going to heat the screws. I'm literally going to just touch them to them for, you know, 10 or 15 seconds and uh, kind of get some heat on them and see if they come off a little easier this go around. Not that they were awful before, but you know we can we can get crazy and we can heat heat our um, screws a little bit and see if we can maybe loosen those bonds just a, a skosh. Um, I'm not uh, too worried about it because, like I said, I've managed to get them off relatively easy before. But you know, let's uh, let's see if applying some heat makes it easier. And these were, if you'll recall from that video, torqued to about 11 inch pounds. So nothing too crazy, but you know, a little bit of heat and um, I'll have the gloves on. So if the screws are extra toasty, then they, uh, they won't bother me too badly. But we'll get a little heat in them from the soldering iron. And then I think I'm just going to Turn it off after this. I think that's good enough. Let me put it back in the holder because uh, that's probably pretty darn hot right now. I don't really want to burn myself. And now we'll apply the uh, screw. Same thing as before. I'm still going to put it nice and firm and apply torque. Let's see if that makes a difference. Yeah, it comes out pretty easy now. That little bit. So I think the heat did break the bonds, the chemical bonds. So, you know, as a side note, guys, if you're worried about using Loctite Red, a $18 soldering iron seems to cure all your woes because it makes it easier to remove. But still, while it's on there, preserves the bonds of the Loctite Red, which is what I want because I don't want these optics going anywhere, guys. So, yeah, easier to come out this time. So, like I said, if Loctite Red scares you, but um, your uh, Vibratite's got you down, then uh, soldering iron does the trick. Um, if you do, like I said, take precautions, guys. Don't get crazy. Make sure that you are well-versed in dealing with hot items. I'd hate for you to um, burn yourself or catch anything on fire. Um, you know, just a little tip for you, but I uh, hope that helps you guys out. Take care. Stay safe, guys. Thank you.